Hello, I'm Christy Graves and I'm here with Danny Gagliardi. I'm Danny Gagliardi. And we're just going to have a conversation right now. Danny, so you're a goalkeeper yeah. and you're a freshman at FIU. Tell me how you began your soccer career. I'm from Brazil originally, so it's kind of known to be played from a, from a very young age. My dad got me on a team as soon as he could. And I don't know what it was, something, he was my first coach and everything, and something, for some reason, I just put it in goal and it just stuck with me since. And then eventually I got moved on from that, from the rec league into a, a travel team. And that's where I met Giuseppe, and I've been training with him since I was 13. So for six years now, ever since, and me and him have just, he, he's just had a connection since. He's always been a great coach, and he's taught me a lot, and we've gone a long way since. So you've been with NT2D from the very beginning. Yes, I was here from when it first started. So tell me how that training has helped you in your career. Well, it's been great because it used to just be like, oh, we get 20 minutes with the club, and then we have to go, go oh, this coach needs a goalkeeper, so we have, just have to send someone here or there. Now I'm NT2D. It's just um, we have an hour and a half straight of just non-stop goalkeeping session which is great. It works on the technical side which is so important to us that we don't get with um, field players and when we're on a, with a regular team and a lot of teams don't have goalie coaches which is a problem. So it just helps out us out so much um, with the technical side of it. But once you have the technical side, the tactical side just comes along from experience and playing. So you'd recommend NT2D to all goalkeepers out there? Yes. Giuseppe has a great philosophy. I love his coaching. I've been with him for six years, as I said. I, I, I back him up any day. And since you are playing at FIU currently, do you help with any of the younger NT2D people? Yes, Giuseppe has asked me to coach many times throughout the summer. It, um, I get here before his first session even starts. I help him set up. I help him coach with the little kids. Last summer I spent every day with him training the kids. I'd get here probably 30 minutes early. I'd, I'd warm up myself. I'd help just set up the field. I would take the kids. I'd help, I'd help them without everything. I'm sure that's very rewarding also, knowing that you came from there. Tell me about your experience at FIU. I came in my freshman year this time. There were three keepers. It was me, another um, keeper was his first year. He just transferred. He was a junior, another keeper who was a senior. We came in all competing the competing for the first spot in the first preseason game. Um, I played the second half. Um, we split half with me and another keeper. In the second preseason game, I didn't start. After about two, three weeks, me and a coach um, sat down, had a conversation. He said, um, "I think it'd be the best to redshirt you because you you ha you could start today, but rather than you losing a year by rotating three keepers." We're gonna have one keeper. We're gonna save you, so you don't have to waste that. You lose that year, and I completely agreed with him. As from a keeper standpoint, it's a good, it's a great idea for me to work on my technical side and everything. Next year, it's me and one other keeper battling it out, and everything depends on how I do this summer, the work I put in. So that sounds good, but I know that you're a very good goalkeeper because. You just came from the International Goalkeepers Coaches Conference here in South Florida and you were voted as the best goalkeeper of the entire conference. Yes, um, that was a great honor for me. Um, I love the conference. I got trained with some of the best goalkeeping coaches in the world. I got trained with the coach for Chelsea, um, the head coach for Manchester United and some other great goalkeeping coaches. It was a great experience. There was one session where they rated each keeper on a scale, and I won by the majority of the coaches, and the coach running the session also agreed that I was the best, and I, that it was a great honor for me. And um, he, and he and the coach said, undoubtedly, that I was the best one, and they proved with the vote. How does that make you feel? It made me feel really good. I felt great pleasure in it. I saw Giuseppe in the background smiling <laughs> while he was there. Um, I took great pleasure in, like, I, by respectable coaches being able to vote me the best and say that I'm the best was a great feeling. So congratulations on that, first and foremost. That's amazing. And you mentioned earlier that you're Brazilian-American. So with the Olympics coming up there in Brazil, what do you have to say about that? I'm very excited for it. Um, Brazil has won five World Cups, but they never won an Olympics. 
and they're looking to win the first one in Brazil, which would be great. I had a chance to go to Brazil for the World Cup. The atmosphere was great and everything, but I ended up not. I ended up canceling my flight because um, of soccer. But the Olympics, I'm very excited. It, 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 the the economy in Brazil is in the best right now, and I'm hoping it lifts everyone's moods and makes everyone better. And cheering for the for Brazil, of course, the home team. I'm really excited for the soccer and see how it all turns out. Well, regardless, I know you'll be watching um, some people who you may want to play with ultimately, right? right? Is being pro your ultimate goal? It is. I've had a, a few shots um, at it so far. It's just a building process. Everything that happens, I take it as a learning experience. I've been all, all around the world playing. I've, been, I've played in Brazil for a little bit. I've played in Germany. I've played in Montreal. And it's all been a learning process. I never think of it as, a, oh, I didn't make it. I think of it as, okay, now I need to work on this and that and that. And I sit, every time I come back, I sit with Giuseppe and tell him, okay, I need, this is what they told me, this is what we need to work on. And we sit down and start working on it so next time it gets better. Very good perspective. You, you speak like a pro already. Tell me about your training now during the summer in order to excel when you do start your sophomore year at Florida International University? Well, I want to have a similar training schedule I had last summer. Last summer, I started training at a performance gym um, four times a week in the mornings, and in the afternoon, I was with Giuseppe every day doing goalkeeping work and everything. Um, that was ultimately to get me ready for Montreal. My coach for FIU told me I came in great. He wanted me to get back. He said this summer I have to do the same things I did last summer to come in just as well as I did last year. So this summer I wanted to do a similar schedule, except I am playing for an NPSL team, the Miami Storm, to get minutes and get the tactical side of it down more. Giuseppe is one of the coaches there. I went there because of him. We have a great team. I get to work with Giuseppe a lot. We practice Monday through Friday at night, and we have games twice a week, usually on weekends and like around Wednesday. I live in Miami, so I want to check out a Miami Storm game. Um, we actually <laughs> play in Pembroke Pines. Okay. It's a little weird, I know, but we, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we play it's, right here in Pembroke Pines. It's all South Florida, so yeah, awesome. How proud are your parents of you and how supportive are they? My parents are very proud. They, My dad works a lot and my mom works a lot, but they always try and come out to my games. My dad came to one of my FIU games this year. My mom used to drive to Kendall all the time to watch my games down in Kendall. They're very proud and they tell me all the time. They may not know like all the details, like, oh, I'm doing this and that and that, but they're very proud of all the way I came. My dad was my first coach. He loves soccer. He's the reason I started playing soccer. And they, they, they're very proud of all the, the long way I've came and they know it. And your siblings are proud of you as well. My sister's very proud, yes. Well, it seems like you have had a great career already and a great career ahead of you. So, any final words to any aspiring goalkeepers out there? I I am very proud of the things I've done as a goalkeeper and I owe a lot of it to Giuseppe. He's always been like a father to me and I love it so much. He treats me right, he works with his goalkeepers like they're kids and he cares for them and it means a lot to all of us. Thank you so much. I've had so much fun meeting you and chatting with you. Thank you very much.